I was with Pastor Marvin Wines a few years ago. He told me, he said, Pastor Dunn, I enjoy me. I enjoy <laughs> teaching. I enjoy singing. I enjoy preaching. And uh, so let me just dive right in. I'm going to teach some principles, but I'm going to go from three different perspectives of story, dealing with transition, dealing with order, and dealing with complete. I'm going to deal with three different perspectives of stories. You know the Bible. I'm going to deal with uh, the, the story of the feeding of the 5,000, Jesus and his disciples. I'm going to also deal with 1 Samuel 16, with David, and this whole concept of as a shift. And um, I'll probably be able to touch a little bit on uh, the issue of blood. I'm going to use those as foundational narratives so that we can get involved. And we'll do all of the wonderful accolades and everything once we finish. I want to make sure we make the most of the time. It is 7.50. I do that a lot to myself. I say it's 7.50. The greatest thing about this whole thing tonight is you're talking also to a man that is currently in transition. In November, we'll be entering into our fifth year of ministry. God has blessed us. <laughs> blessed us in Cincinnati to be able to pastor. We're doing it. And um, um, we've been in several highs, and we have some great things. But sometimes you can uh, sometimes you can miss your shift because things are going good, and you're not listening to God. So you have to be sensitive. So there's a word by the name of metasomatism. Metasomatism. M e t a s o m a t i SM, metasomatism, M E T A S O M A T I S M. Metasom metasomatism is really the process of organic or change within itself, which means without any outside elements, the actual thing that needs to change it is inside of it. Mm. Metasomatism means it changes mm. from within. So when you're in transition and you're called of God, mm. even against your ignorance, against your lack of training, against mm. your lack of experience and education, some stuff just because God already put it in it when he called you. Right. When it needs to change, it's going to change. Right. The challenge is you're fighting what God has changed mm -hmm. because you have not been equipped, educated, or spiritually mature enough to handle when God changes. Right. Mm. Almost like when a baby, if you don't get the baby, if you don't get the, the pregnant woman to the hospital, the baby will just deliver itself. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it's God's design for it to happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the process of change. Let me open up with the feeding of the 5,000. It's so good to see you here, Dr. Mario. It is, it is when I say it's so good to see you here in this, uh, hearing about how God is doing this, we'll, we'll, we'll chop it up afterwards. Um, the feeding of the 5,000, let me give you some principles here. Um, blessing and breaking is the main statement when you're dealing with this feeding of the 5,000. You know in the stories you have different narratives from the four Gospels. But let me give you some points here. What is the process, leaders? Now, raise your hand if you're the pastor. Raise your hand if you're pastors. Raise your hand if you're leaders with the pastors. If I'm talking about people, leaders and pastors. So again, raise your hand if you're the pastor of the ministry. And raise your hand if you're one of the leaders at the ministry and you have a pastor. Okay, this is a good uh, opportunity for you to grab onto this, and that is, what is your process? How do you change things? When it gets into your hands, how do you change it? <clears throat> the feeding of the 5,000, that story, just so you'll uh, grab onto it if you don't know it. The little boy's lunch, the, the two fish and the five loaves of bread, that was a meal that can fit in the palm of your hand. Right. For the five loaves for those small little barley crackers mm. about this size. The two fish were the size of tart sardines.